So today we are exploring how to cut on a bias and what exactly it means to cut on a bias. Cutting a bias basically means cutting your fabric, not this regular way, this regular way you're going to be cutting on here. When you have a fabric, a fabric is usually woven and you have the warp and the weft, which basically describes the horizontal and the vertical lines and the waves that comes on your fabric. And your gray line will normally be like this, which is basically how your fabric lies. That's what we call the gray line. But when you cut on bias, you're cutting against the gray line. So basically you're not cutting straight this way or cutting straight this way. You make your cut to go along here why do we even bother to cut across the grain line and why do we bother to cut on bias cutting on bias gives your fabric more softness and basically gives your fabric some amount of stretch as well now you will notice that many times if you are working on any curved parts especially it could be a neckline it could be a M, it could be anything curved if you cut your fabric strip to be straight no matter how nice you try to make your seam no matter how much attention you pay to the details of the sewing that neck bit which is curved or that curved part is never going to be flat because what you're trying to do is you have a curved bit and you're trying to bring a straight part around there it's never going to be flat what would make it flat is for you to cut that piece on the bias so you have a straight piece on the bias and then you join to the neck which then makes the neck line flat also when we work with bias strip the regular ones you buy in the shop that bias strip has been cut diagonally which allows you to be able to sew it to a curved bit and then you have it all flat so how do you cut a bias strip or how do you cut on the bias if you want to say for instance you have a pattern and you want to place your pattern on the bias what you want to do when you're placing your pattern on the bias is not to place your pattern this way this way you have to place your pattern along here and then it's just going to go that way down and i'm going to show you what i mean this is a pattern that i have worked on before in one of my videos and if you look through my channel you are going to find it the normal way for us to place the pattern will either be like this or it will be like this but when you're cutting off bias what you will do is place your pattern like this and then it gives that you know that flow now um i would not recommend you cut regular pieces like bodies like this on bias because it's going to give you that stretch and elasticity and softness that you don't need for your bodies but if you're cutting something like an a-line you're cutting like a sleep dress it is fantastic fantastic to cut it on bias if you're making a sleep dress by all means cut it on bias because it gives that lovely flow that you are just gonna love and make your dress look really nice now how do we cut bias strip say you want to cut bias strip um to tape a part of your garment you want to use it for loops you want to use it for a rope you know you want to use it for anything how do you cut bias strip there are several ways but what you should remember is that you want your seams to be cut this way now one easy way that i do it is that i take the edge of my fabric and then i just fold it now depending on how many pieces that you need you could fold all the way if you need a lot you could decide to fold a little bit and then just go along that way my recommendation usually will be for you to fold a little bit and you just continue to cut that way and i'm just going to show you how that works now so what i do is basically fold it this way i have folded this and then i am just going to make my first cut along there now the next thing that I'm going to do is now begin to cut my strips this way. It's that easy and simple. So say for instance, I need my strip to be one inch wide. I only need to just measure what I need. I don't get from this edge. I measure from here, I measure my one inch, whatever it is that I need. I just measure that way. And then if you make a straight line and you join your points together, when you cut it out, what you have is a bias strip and then another thing i usually like to do is basically just make this to be straight that way and then make this to be straight as well to make that other bit to be straight i'm just going to put this over here and cut straight and, and what i have is a bias strip so if you want your bias strip to be long all you just need to do is cut more 
trim it this way and join it together and you have the piece that you want as long as you want it to be also this is not going to be a waste because what you can do is even cut more bio strip out of here and then you can get the bio strips out so guys i hope this has been helpful this is how you cut your bio strip on bias diagonal cuts against the grace line against your wire and your rep i'll see you in the next video don't forget to like this video share and then um, subscribe if you have not done so already i remain your sewing godmother to the peace